Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Pete Game. All right, man. The RZA sells off half of the Wu-Tang catalog. No indication on what songs are included in that package. But I'm pretty sure it's all the good stuff. You thought about 400 and something songs, man. And that's unfortunate that the RZA decided to sell off, you know, the Wu-Tang catalog, man, to this company that's overseas, you know, to where they're going to make a profit off, you know, the, the RZA and the Wu-Tang Clan's hard work. That's just textbook. I would never do that. But, you know, I'm not RZA. But, you know, um, he say it's a good deal for him. You know, because keep in mind, he apparently owns all the rights to the Wu-Tang, to the Wu-Tang catalog. That means he owns the publishing and all that kind of stuff. And you like, damn. But then I think I remember the Wu-Tang Clan talked about this, that they wanted out of their contracts with Wu-Tang Records. So basically, I think that was part of the deal for them to get out of their deal but yeah man this is a shame that these artists don't see the value of their work and you, you know the where they just sell it off I don't know if RZA is hurting for money or whatever the case may be but man I never would have did that I never would have sold so I wouldn't have sold 25% of my catalog you know you always want full ownership of your music man but that's how a lot of these record companies get over. When they sign you, they get they get pretty much your publishing. Because your songs don't belong to you no more. They belong to the record label. So let's just say you have a bad like split with the record label. They could be petty and say, hey, well, you know, you can't perform none of those songs from, you know, this and that. Because that's happened before. You know, for real. So, yeah, that's... I just wouldn't have did that, man. You know, you put your blood, sweat, and tears into putting out all those classic hits and then you just have some, you know, have some clear people just come out of nowhere and write you a check and you just decide to sell half of it. Nah, they wouldn't have been able to do that with me. For real. But that's, yeah, man, that's that's just unfortunate, man. But the RZA always have rubbed me the wrong way anyway from just various things he's done and said to where you'd be like, excuse me? Bro, what are you talking about? You know, from his weird relationship with Quentin Tarantino and Dan him, like uh, selling a Wu-Tang album for like two million dollars that wasn't even really a Wu-Tang album just a whole bunch of junk verses and you know just uh, songs with whack beats and all that stuff and he put it together master it and then he sell it off as a Wu-Tang album and he sells it to that dude for two million dollars just like man are you serious But yeah, I always, um, I always had issues with the with the RZA though. But nevertheless, let me know what you think. This your boy Tim Biz. I'm out.